Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to configure a recipe on a Siemens comfort panel. The first thing that we need to do is move over to our project tree and locate recipes. So I'm going to double click on recipes and this will open up the recipe editor. In the top section here, we have to give a recipe structure a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add new and my structure or recipe is going to be called recipe one. So I'm just going to accept the default names. There's a table editor up here so you can edit in the table editor or you can come down below into the general properties or the inspector window and edit your properties down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select data storage. The path here, I'm going to select the path. This is going to be where my recipes are going to be stored. So I've got SD card, USB stick, internal flash memory, or network drive. I'm going to pick storage card SD so my recipes are going to be stored on an SD card. The next thing I'm going to do is select the synchronization area. For typical, for typical recipe applications we're going to want to uncheck synchronize recipe tags. So then after we do that then we have to move up to the middle window and then for our recipe structure we have to add in the elements. So these are going to be the elements that make up our recipe structure. We're going to add in two elements. So I'll click on add new. I'll just accept the default names. Again you have a table editor or you can edit down below in the properties window. So for the first one I'll use the table editor. So I need to select the tag for this particular recipe. So I will browse for the tag and I'm going to select the word underscore one tag and I will accept it. Then I'll add in another recipe element and this time instead of you know, filling it in in the table editor I will come down into the properties area and I can select my tag from in the inspector window area. So I'll pick word two, accept it. So now my recipe structure um, contains two elements. Once the recipe has been created, the next thing that we'll need to do is go back over to our screens and select our recipe screen. So we need to put a tool on the screen that will allow us to work with the recipes during runtime. So we'll come over to our toolbox and come down to the controls area and then I'm going to select the recipe view tool. So I will put the recipe view tool out onto the screen. So I will draw that out. So now I've got my recipe view tool. So this is the tool that's used to manage recipes for doing your uploads and downloads during runtime. So now <clears throat> there is a toolbar that is across the bottom. So I have the toolbar section selected right now. And so these are the buttons that are available. Maybe I want to add a save as button. So I will check the save as button and that added that button into my toolbar. So once I have the recipe view on the screen, what I'm going to do is select my comfort panel and I'm going to start the simulation. When I start the simulation, it will start compiling my project, start the runtime software, and then I will be able to test my recipe configuration. So I've got a button here that will allow me to go to the recipe screen. So the recipe screen um, has the recipe view tool, and these are the two tags. You, know, you can think of those as being in my PLC that we're going to interact with. The first thing here is from the recipe name, we have to select the recipe structure that we created. So you can have multiple recipe structures in an application. The next thing is going to be the data record name. So when you select your structure, you will then have um, data record or instances of data records that you can upload and download um, you know, to your controller. So the first one here, I'm just going to call it REC1 for recipe one, and that is going to be my first recipe. The elements show up here, so this would be your display name. So if I click on the first element here, maybe I'll put in a value of 10. Right, right, we'll put in a value of 10. Select my second element, I'll put in a value of 20, and save that. So now my recipe has two values, 10 and 20. I'll save my recipe, and so in the status area, you can see that the data record has been saved. Now, if I want to download this recipe, to the controller. I do have a download button over here, so when I press the download button, that transferred the value of 10 and 20 down to the, con to the controller. The next thing I'll do here is I do have a new button, so if I select new recipe, this time I could call it REC2, press enter, and now maybe the PLC values changed, and I'll say that this is going to be 30, and I'll make this one 40, Okay, so I changed the values here. So this is my new recipe. When I, when I press the upload button, so now I can take the values from the PLC and upload those and bring those into an existing recipe. So now I can save that recipe. 
And then maybe if there's a recipe that I like and I want to use it as a basis of another recipe, I do have the ability to select the Save As button. So Recipe 2 is selected. I could save that. I'll give it a name. Instead of it being Recipe 2, I'll call it Recipe 3. So now in my drop-down, I have the three recipe values um, that I can work with. So as an example, if I don't like a particular recipe, I do have the ability to delete it. So I will select the delete button, and this will allow me to delete the recipe. So in this example, I showed you how to work with a recipe on a Siemens comfort panel.